Welcome to Snowbirds and RV Travelers, the weekly show for RV enthusiasts, where we talk about parks, activities, travel tips, trends, reviews, and the latest news affecting your RV experience. For more content and guest opportunities, head over to rvpodcast.com. That's rvpodcast.com. Well, welcome to today's podcast where we are chatting with Natalie Conway, Executive Director of the Ontario Recreational Vehicle Dealers Association. Good morning, Natalie. Hi, good morning, Perry. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. You know, because every spring, the RV season unofficially starts with a a number of RV shows across the country. Uh, I know you guys have a bunch of stuff coming up. You've got some things that have passed. What is coming up right now for you guys? Uh, Our next and final event, actually, of the season, believe it or not, is the Kitchener RV Show and Sale, and that starts uh, March 17th and runs through the 19th in Kitchener at the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. Awesome. I actually grew up in Kitchener, so I know exactly where that is. Nice regional event. Yes. So uh, tell people, why attend a show instead of going directly to the dealers that are in their area? That's a really good question, Perry. Um, There are a number of benefits to attending an RV show. Um, Show Showgoers can explore um, RV parts and accessories in our accessories marketplace. Um, There are also opportunities to learn the ins and outs from industry experts during our series of show seminars. Um, Those sessions feature everything from hitching and towing to RV insurance uh, and more. Uh, not to mention all of your favorite local RV dealers under one roof. So right. It's really very convenient. Uh, so how should they prepare to go to the show? Like what should they do in advance before they get there? I, I know it can be overwhelming. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whether you are new to the lifestyle uh, or a seasoned pro, I would definitely encourage um, anybody who's considering attending the event to check out our website in advance. And you can do that at rvshowsontario.ca. From there, you will find a complete directory of all of our vendor exhibitors, uh, campgrounds on site, um, uh, and our RV dealer exhibitors. Um, That will also include brands and models displayed at the event. Right. Uh, Should they be deciding ahead of time what style of RV they want, what their budget is? Um, Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think that um, um, if if they went, obviously going in prepared is definitely uh, helpful, but certainly there are so many opportunities to connect with on-site dealers that will um, and, and manufacturer represent, representatives that will help you find the RV that will suit your family, your budget, and your lifestyle. Right. Now, I know we only have one left this year, but again, looking ahead to next year, and I think there's also a show in the fall. Um, you know, how many RV shows does a person really need to attend to get everything that they need to make a decision? You know, I think that really depends on your goals. Um, absolutely, because there are so many opportunities for people to attend events, uh, especially, you know, in the new year, it gives you it's, a, it's sort of a kickoff to the spring camping season. So again, it, it definitely um, depends on your goals and, and what you are trying to achieve by attending an event. Right. Uh, have you been to the shows this year yet? So, you know, what's what's really exciting and new this year at the shows? Yeah, I have actually. We just wrapped up our Ottawa RV Expo and sale, which was really great. It was uh, nice, to, nice to have um, a return to live events, especially in that region after you know a couple of couple long long years um, without shows. So the the the, um, the shows in the first quarter of the year are designed to be uh, a new product showcase. So you'll you'll be seeing the twenty. 20, the latest and greatest in RV trends, the 2023 models. However, uh, if maybe you're looking for something a little more non-current, um, there is a selection of previous model year units as well. Um, so it's a, it, again, it's a great opportunity to come check out what's in store for the upcoming camping season. Well, it's great to hear actually, because I mean, sometimes new RVs are too expensive for some people. So if there's an opportunity to buy used, that's that's yeah. huge. Yes. Well, there actually isn't any used RVs on site at these events. There, 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 there is in the fall. Um, our Kitchener show and the Ottawa show, they're ex- exclusively essentially new model showcases. Uh, but the fall RV show in October is an opportunity to uh, check out previously owned product. Oh, okay. And that's in Toronto? That's in Toronto, yes. Held at the, tr- at the Toronto Congress Centre. Yeah. So, you know, can people big, uh, bring their kids, make it a family event? Can they bring a dog? 
Absolutely. So service animals are definitely welcome. Kids are welcome to attend as well, and even better, children under 16 are free. Well, that's good to hear. Um, and so you said free. How much are tickets? Tickets at the Kitchener Show are $8 all, all weekend long. Um, you can definitely buy your tickets in advance online, too, if you're looking to, um, you know, to do that, get that out of the way so you can have easy entry when you arrive. Um, but, yeah, so they're $8 all weekend long online and at the box office. Okay. What's the best time of day to attend or what's the best day to attend? Well, Friday is a really great day to attend if you're looking for a bit of a slower pace and, and maybe trying to avoid that weekend congestion. Um, but, you know, again, you, if you're not able to, to attend on Friday, our seminars, our, our representatives, they're on site all weekend long. They run all weekend long, so you're not at risk of missing out on anything. Uh, did you mention, is there a schedule of seminars online that folks can look at? There is, yes. Ah. Go to our website, uh, rvshowsontario.ca. You'll see our host. You'll see the time. So, uh, again, I would encourage uh, you to visit that if you um, want to make sure that you don't miss out on a session. Ah, okay. No, that's good news. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk about buying an RV. Sure. You know, are the show specials really special prices? There are definitely incentives and exclusive show specials offered by participating dealers. Um, not to mention, if you purchase your RV at the show from a participating dealer, you have an opportunity to win five thousand dollars cash back towards your purchase price of an RV. Yeah, so it's a great uh, it's a great contest, and that is sponsored by the ORVDA. And I know it sounds a little bit rushed, but can a person like if I go in? And I lay my money down. Can I hook up that RV that day and drive away and go camping? No, no typically what? not really. <laughs> in a perfect world, yes. I mean, there's a pretty quick there is a pretty quick turnover, and certainly if you are looking to hit the road this spring, I would definitely recommend attending a show and, and purchasing. Um, you know, spring is just around the corner, so this yeah. is better. Yeah, and you know. I know some people, uh, you know, myself, not so much, but, you know, you feel that when you're going shopping, you don't want to be pressured into a sale. You know, is this sort of a high pressure environment or is it more relaxed? Not at all. It's very flexible. The shows are not designed to be a high pressure, uh, high pressure environment at all. Um, our goal is to deliver a family friendly event um, in a really comfortable atmosphere. Right. Yeah, I, mean, I love going to shows. I love seeing stuff open and on display. And especially when you're, I think when you're shopping in the spring and stuff's outside, it's yeah. more of a chilly experience, right? Yeah. Where the shows are nice. Everything's yeah. opened up. I agree. Yeah. Gets, right. you, gets you thinking about your vacation. So. <laughs> Which is a good thing. It is. No, that's awesome, Natalie. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, have I missed something? Is there something else you want to throw in uh, about the shows? Sure. Yeah. I mean, again, just, um, you know, uh, just as I mentioned before, the shows are a great opportunity to come out and visit with your local dealers all under one roof. Um, if you are looking to get some more tips and tricks on RVing, I would encourage you to visit GoRVing.ca. They're a great resource for RV, our, our RVing um, across Canada. Um, they have everything from, you know, helping you plan your trip to finding a local dealer in your area. Um, it's a great resource. So if you, if you have an opportunity to visit GoRVing.ca, I would recommend that. No, excellent. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's very helpful. All right. Well, Natalie, thank you very much for your time this morning and uh, hope to see you again maybe next year. Great. Sounds good. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Thanks for listening to today's show. If you enjoyed it, share it with your friends. And if you'd like to hear more, please follow or subscribe. Your opinions are important. So please take a moment to share your ideas, comments on this show, or topics you'd like us to cover. For fun contests and picture submissions, check out our Instagram channel at Snowbirds RV Travelers. Snowbirds and RV Travelers is a Sun Cruiser Media production.